much and hello to everyone. Uh, first of all, we like to, to take a little uh, seconds of this space to give a, ba a big thank you uh, to the Ines Tech, especially to Felipe, and also to the sponsors of this event, uh, Internet Society, Purple Foundation, for having this possible our attendance to this event. We are really pleased and really happy because of everything. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, Okay, um, he's Oscar Prieto, I am Leonardo Taborda. We are coming from Bogota, Colombia, from a community, a really new community called Network Bogota. Yes. So this presentation, this, this is small lightning talk, is called Building Up a Community Wireless Network in Bogota, Colombia, Challenges and Perspectives. Okay, and this is basically the uh, Network Bogota experience of deployment of community networks rather than a technical approach and so on. Okay, so what Network Bogota is? Uh, basically, Open Network, uh, Network Bogota is an open grassroots project that is mostly based on a volunteering uh, work. It means that we have no sponsorships um, and all the members are just putting all the um, required elements of its own. That is the first thing. Also, Network Bogota is aimed to create an open, neutral, and decentralized wireless network in Bogota. But this is not only the, our, our, I mean, we are not only interested in just setting up nodes around the city, but we are also interested in provide education uh, on open mesh networking, but also in several open, eyes, uh, open source ICT fields. Its philosophy and its relevance on every day and finally, we are also kind of an investigation grab. So we are going to describe the experience uh, of how we are doing things in Bogota and how we are, um, um, the results that we have, we are going having. Well, okay, so one of the first things when we started working with Network Bogota, so to give you a brief, con uh, Contextualization Network Bogota started like two, almost three years ago. Uh, we came from a different project that was being driven in Bogota that was called Bogota Mesh. And we split it because of several things, like the ones that were explained in some presentation here about egos, hierarchical structures, and so on. So then we decided to split on and to continue into a new project. Um, so the first things we started to do was to just uh, flash routers and install routers, access points, nodes. But uh, we started to notice that this, this, some of those access points were not being used by anyone anywhere. So we were doing a useless work. So the first thing is that we need a... The question is, do, the, do, do communities need social networks? Do communi local communities need uh, local chats? Do local communities need, I don't know, uh, a local community radio? Yes? So that was one, one of the first uh, questions, and, one, uh, and this is one of the ways we di direct our work. We set up nodes in communities that need services, that need relevant services in order to improve the quality of their lives. Yes, maybe we can arrive to a community that is lacking, uh, it, it happens in Colombia everywhere. Uh, communities need security because you know it is a common trend in Latin America that we have se a severe security issues, severe, really severe. And because of government, I mean, um, La, the lack of uh, of war by community by go, uh, the lack of war by governments by governments people must take uh, in the ways they can the security by their own hands. One way of doing this is setting up services, uh, is setting is setting up uh, mesh networks, community mesh networks where inhabitants can, for example, have IP surveillance cameras. That's one relevant service. So uh, Network Bogota nodes are installed in places where they need them and taking in consideration the different contexts and needs of those places. Yes, because it's something ha funny that sometimes we read is that because, uh, I mean, 
um, why should I install a social network in a, commun in a mesh community if the networks do not like to see, to reach them, to, to talk themselves? Why? Okay, I'm being told that we have five minutes, so we have to, to, to continue fast. Uh, please come back one. Uh, Another experience, the average Bogota, Bogotan wants a real and working proof of any idea you want to present to them and you want to work with them. So for, for us, it was not so easy like uh, come to um, go to talk with a mayor and say, hey, we, have, we want to work with open wireless networks, here are our, are our ideas, but uh, they say, do you have something working real, real functioning, func working? No. So that's the, the way is that we must come to the communities with something that is working and the only way to penetrate into a community is working, is having like a demo of what we want to do, otherwise it won't work. And finally, uh, another of the experiences is that we need, we are providing a human approach of, uh, on community networking. So um, we try to be the, 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 we try to make the mesh, the meshing thing more human for real be, human beings. The successful points they uh, are that we, 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 we managed to establish social links with the communities. We think this is the, the first point to establish a relationship with the communities, to get acquainted, to develop a pedagogic, pedagogical approach when talking about wireless network. And another really successful point is that we are a multidisciplinary team. So everyone is welcome in, the, in this case. Oscar is about to degree and, uh, a degree in systems and engineering. And in my case, I'm about to, grade, to get a degree in foreign languages. And of course, slow paces, no hurries. So it's better to have a few notes, but working and providing real services that to have 18, one, uh, sorry, 80, 100 nodes that they are not doing nothing. Uh, this is something interesting because we are a small project, but we are having replication elsewhere in Colombia. For example, uh, Bereda is like a small town in, in, in Spanish language, outside, uh, really far from major cities. Uh, there is a need to set up a mesh network in a, in a small village that is composed by, by 100 houses that they do not have working internet coverage because of government uh, uh, lack of, of coverage. Villavicencio is, is the capital of a Colombian state, so they are asking information for us. Cordoba, it's not Cordoba, Argentina, because some of them they know, it's Cordoba, a, a state in Colombia. And finally, uh, the YMCA, the John, uh, John Main Christian Association that has presence in Colombia, we are working together with them in setting up uh, mesh networks in their institutions and starting to develop uh, formative programs for children there on uh, open ICT technologies. Also, we have with the YMCA, Oscar is telling me that we have a really big project that will be our first long shot experience in long point to point links that we are intending to set up. The YMCA has two, two branches in Bogota. One branch is, is in, the, in the downtown of Bogota and the other branch is in the mountains in a really peripheral and poor area. So the idea is to have a link of more than 10 kilometers to, to link all those those places and um, here's how you can contact us we have our facebook our wordpress that is being in constant remodelation because we got fortunately a new vps sponsor sponsorship and we have a mailing list that is mostly in spanish but we can handle you your the address if you can have a look on it and thank you so much for your attention We have one or two minutes for questions. Does anybody have a question? At what, at, sorry. Uh, at what scale have you 